I'm going to demonstrate now the partial sums method for addition. Partial sums uh, works just like addition, however, we do a couple things different. First thing we do is instead of starting on the right like we're used to, we start on the left. We want to start with our largest place value. And speaking of place value, we're actually going to add by place value. So instead of thinking this is 3 plus 1, we're going to think of this as the hundreds place. This is the tens place. And this has the ones place. So this helps teach the students uh, place value as well as addition. So I see 3 plus 1, but I'm going to think of 300 plus 100. So over here, I might write it. Or the students can do this right in their head, probably. So I think of 300 plus 100, which gives me 400. The most important thing here is that I line everything up by place value. I go to my tens place. I have 40 plus 70, which gives us 110, which isn't going to fit into the tens column. So we must move it over one and start it. Again, we have to make sure we line everything up. And then finally, we have our ones column, 8 plus 7. Now, all of this work out here is designed so that it's be able to be done in the head, um, which is very helpful. So 8 plus 7 is 15. Now all we have to do is add everything back up. 525 would be our answer. Now, we encourage the students also to go back and use the regular way to check their work, especially if that's what they're most comfortable with. So we don't force this method. This is just another option. And as I said, it teaches place value. Next, we'll try the column addition method. Now, with the column addition method, it's going to look a lot like standard addition with one key difference. I'm going to actually make columns in between each of my place values. So again, I'm going to do it by place value. This time, I am going to start on the right, however. So I start with 9 plus 8, which is 17. Now, traditionally, we would put the 7 here and carry the 1. However, in this case, since I have columns, it's OK to have a, a number in the tens here. We're going to come back to that later. 5 plus 9 is 14. Again, I keep the whole number in that column. And finally, 3 plus 2 is 5. Now, I go back, and I fix each column as I work from right to left. So with 17, the 1's place can stay, since this is the 1's column. So I can keep a 7. The 1, which is actually a 10, has to come over here to the 10's. So instead of 14 10's, now I have 15 10's. So I keep that, and I bring the 5 down. I'm not done until I have one number in each column. So I continue. The 7 comes down. The 5 can stay here. Okay? The number in the 1's place can always stay. The 1 goes over to the 100's place. The 5 becomes a 6. So the final answer is 657. So column addition is much like standard addition. However, the difference, key difference being we don't have to worry about carrying. So if a student has difficulties carrying numbers and making mistakes with carries, this is another method that might work for them.